Hey everyone, so today I've done this makeup tutorial um, which is basically the makeup I've been wearing all the time recently so I thought I would film it, ignore my weird random like tan lines going on I don't know how it happened, it is real tan, I don't know what happened, just ignore it um, and yes the rest of me is pale because I just don't tan this was burn that went tan, I don't even know just, just ignore that please <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to show you how I did this and um, it's a very long video because I like talked through it instead of just like putting music over the top of what I was doing and some like new like techniques kind of that I've been doing so yeah hope you enjoy it and if you want to see how I did it then keep watching. So I've done my foundation with the Estee Lauder Double Wear which I always use as you probably know if you've watched my videos for a long time and this is in the shade 1N1 which is called Ivory Nude um, and I think it's either the palest or the second palest one so yeah. I'm very pale, even in summer I don't tan, as you can probably see I have this random patch of tan here, um, you will have seen it at the beginning when I was more zoomed out, but yeah. So my foundation, now onto concealer, this is the collection Lasting Perfection Concealer, which again I've used for ages in the shade Fair 1, which is the lightest, so I'm just going to do under my eyes, I bring it up there a bit to highlight as well. This one's kind of running out of it, I need to get a new one. They're always out of stock. If ever I see them in stock, I just buy like their whole stock, <laughs> which is usually only like three, because they never have them, but if they're there, I just buy them. Um, although I haven't done that clearly. And on my forehead as well, and down on my chin and here, where I've got quite a few blemishes at the minute, which is, not great but I can only blame myself um, you know and I know I said I'm using this to highlight although I'm putting it like obviously on my blemishes which I don't want to highlight but to be fair it's not that much paler than the rest of my skin and I don't know it's hard to explain but it looks fine once I've like sorted out with bronzer and stuff so I don't really know like I don't know what technique this is I'm not a makeup artist but you know <laughs> excuse this brush it's kind of disgusting um, I was going to brush brush no wash my brushes today um and then I was like you know what I'm gonna film a video so obviously I couldn't film it with wet brushes so I am cleaning them right after this video and I know I've said this like my past few videos because I keep having massive gaps in my videos but again sorry it's been a while and I keep saying I'm back for good because I generally think I am gonna be and just oh so much comes up and like even on my days off I'm busy and stuff and I don't know I'm not going to keep making excuses but yeah sorry <laughs> there we go now I'm going to set it all in place with powder and again something I've used for ages Rimmel Stay Matte Powder which is in Not Not One Transparent and I have got a new brush and this is the first time I'm going to use it and I'm so excited look at this I'm going to try and focus it please Look at that. I really hope it shows up on camera. The colours is absolutely amazing. It's like multicoloured, like pastel colours. I can't even. It's absolutely amazing. I bought it in Spain and it is BE on a Better Elite. Um, and it's 45 large powder brush. And I think it was like 15 euros, something like that. I've also got a Kabuki um, and I've got a foundation brush for my friend as well. Um, the Kabuki is really good, so... Let's hope this is. I've been putting off using it because I didn't want to get it dirty because I love it, which is ridiculous because it's a makeup brush, but you know. And I am just going to pat it in. I don't rub it around because I'm setting my foundation. I don't want to move it. This brush is so soft. I put quite a lot of powder on because I have been like using like a new like technique thing um, which I saw on Wayne Goss's channel um, which he got from Sonia and Pfizer or something like that um, so yeah I have been doing that so I will obviously show you as I go through but basically I'm completely coating my face in powder because um, I want it completely 
matte and set in and it's not as much as it looks like right now but just because I have like barely anything look, um, left in this powder it's just taking me ages to put it on but <laughs> it's not as much as it looks but you want to completely like matte out your face and have no stickiness or anything and mini review on the brush, I freaking love it, it's very soft and very nice, I like it. Um, then I do things in a weird order, I don't know why, I like to kind of leave my powder to set in as much as it can so then I go on to my eyes, although I don't finish my eyes, so I'm going to use this, if I keep looking down here, I've got my makeup down here, um, eyeshadow from Revlon, it's in the set, the shade, <laughs> the shade, taupe, and then it says satin, so I guess that's like the finish, um, and I just put that all over my eyelid, I like to pat it on and then blend it in, don't know why, I just do. I blend it in with this brush. All of the eye brushes I'm using right now actually are from Crown Brush. I love Crown Brush specifically for their eye brushes. Then from my Naked 2 palette I'm going to use this one which is getting pretty low um, because I use it like pretty much every day and it is the shade Snake Bite and I just like to put that on the outside corner and a little bit through the crease and I'm not going to do like too much special with my eyeshadow because I am going to put um, liquid eyeliner on now I'm going to use my bronzer which is the Bourjois Delice de Puda I think is how you say it and I'm going to start off blending it down my neck because as you can probably see this is the slightest bit darker than my neck and then I got like burnt on my shoulders here, so it's like they're tanned because it turned into a tan. My face is slightly darker and I just had this like white neck. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna blend that into my neck with this kabuki, which is again the better elite um like coloured one which I got on holiday. So I'm just gonna blend some of that down my neck. Apologies if I sound a bit out of breath as well. I have asthma and this like weather and hay fever and the heat, ugh, ain't doing good. What the hell have I got on my shoulder? Look at this. I'm gonna like makeup on my shoulder. Whatever. Right, that's a lot better. So as I was talking about earlier, I've been doing this new like technique thing. Um, but I have been doing it like slightly different how they do it so I'll link Wayne Gloss's video down below but basically what he does is he does his normal um, foundation and concealer, sets it with powder and then does his normal like bronzer and blusher all that kind of stuff and highlighter and then blends all out with powder and it just basically makes your skin look completely flawless and when he does it all the colour like stays put but when I do it even though I use translucent powder although I think it might be because he used loose powder um, Mine does wash out a little bit, so basically I do my bronzer and that darker than I want it and then blend it out and I do my highlighter afterwards just because I like to. So excuse how I'm going to look now, it's going to look ridiculous um, because I'm going to put on like way too much bronzer and blusher I'm going to look hilarious. So ignore that until I've blended it all out, don't worry, I'm not going to leave the house or like just be in public with this ridiculous makeup. So my contour brush from uh, Real Techniques blow off the excess and what have I got on my face? How have I got black here? Can you see that? Back to contouring my nose, um, I like to squeeze it together like that so it's kind of thin um, and just straight down the middle, well either side of the middle. Then I use this brush, which the end has come off, um, which I got from an eBay set, and it's just like a stippling brush to contour the rest of my face. So as you can see, I'm putting way too much on, um, but yeah, it's all going to blend out. And I'm not even like blowing off the excess, I'm just whacking it straight on, 
Um, it's quite good actually when you do it OTT because you can see more like where you're putting it, which sounds kind of strange, but. Okay, that's the bronzer done, looking fresh. Now onto blusher. I've been back into using this, which I haven't used in ages, um, but I've been obsessed. It's the Look Beauty blusher in the shade Flush, um, which is this gorgeous like peachy kind of colour. And I used to use it as a highlighter, because if you use a little bit, the colour doesn't really show up, and it's just really nice and glowy. But now I've got into using it as a blusher, and obviously I just put more on, and the colour comes up nicely. Um, and I like using it with this technique, because the powder kind of takes down the highlight a bit so I still have the colour but then I add highlighter on top I don't know, I like it okay there I am looking suitably orange <laughs> please never go out with your makeup like this please don't do it um, but yeah so now I'm going to take my powder again and my powder brush um, and just literally go over it so I just do circles Go in one direction and then the other. This is why I haven't finished my like eyeliner or done my eyebrows because um where have I just put my powder? There it is. Um because you will ruin it. <laughs> so as you can see it's like completely blending out um the colour, it's not ridiculously dark anymore. And this just kind of like, I guess it blends it like in, into your pores, or not into your pores, I don't know. But, I don't know how well it will show up on camera, but it just makes your skin look so much more flawless. Um, and like smooth and everything's just blended together so much nicer. Um, I just love doing it, I do it like day to day now. Um, which obviously takes longer, but I just got addicted to it, so, you know. This is still showing up pretty dark on camera, um, but it's not, I promise. But, as you can see, looking much better than it was. I really like this brush. It's really dense and soft. Before, I was using the Eco Tools like massive powder brush, and I did really like that. But this feels a tiny bit denser, and I feel like it's buffing better. So this does take an extra few minutes, but I think it's worth it. So as I said, this looks a tiny bit darker than it is um, in real life, but I hope it's showing up on camera, like how kind of flawless and just like blended in it all is. You just, it like completely hides your pores here. Um, you can still see this damn spot here. Um, but yeah, it just all blends in so much better and looks so much more like flawless and smooth. It's really annoying me how much darker my bronzer looks on camera because it's not that dark. Um, but yeah, so now moving on to highlighter, I've got a new one um, which is the Anyway Undress Your Skin in Iridescent Gold. Before I had one that to be honest I can't remember what uh, name it was but it was like a more kind of pinky one. This is obviously more goldy champagne-y colour. So I am using this brush, it is the e.l.f. blush brush, but I have two of these, I love using them for highlighter, <sighs> I don't really use them for blush, so I'm just going to go top on my cheekbones, <sighs> make sure you blow off the excess, so you don't look like a disco ball, again this is showing up a lot more on camera, <sighs> go a bit under my eyebrows, and again I like squeeze it together so it's thinner, so I'm just right under my eyebrow, <sighs> and like at the peak of my eyebrow I put a tiny bit <sighs> tiny bit on my forehead and I do it really lightly so I'm like barely touching my skin if that makes sense <sighs> and on the top of my nose sometimes I like to extend it like up to here but not today because I've got a spot and don't want to highlight that <laughs> but yeah and above my lip I love doing it above my lip tiny bit down there, like just the excess, I don't know why, I just like to, and on the chin, 
so yeah that is my skin done it's really getting to me how dark my bronze is showing up <laughs> because it's an art but yeah and I hope you enjoy this kind of chatty style video um, I felt like I wanted to do a makeup tutorial but I wanted to like chat at the same time because I haven't done a video in so long so yeah the two came together um, and I do want to film another video after this but it is already six o'clock and it is quite light because it's like summertime but it might get a little bit dim we'll see um, and if my family comes back it's a Sunday so my little sister she's like six she'll be running out screaming so We'll see. Um, that's another reason I find it hard to film. Um, because she's a nutter. And she don't shut up. <laughs> but yeah, hope you're enjoying this bit more chatty. Although it's probably going to be a pretty damn long video. Um, but yeah, next I'm going to do my eyebrows. And again, that's changed very slightly. Um, I do them slightly more natural. Um, I do them like more defined at night. But I've just been doing them a bit more naturally in the day. Um, so they are slightly less defined. But me. So I'm still using the Maybelline Brow Drama in Dark Blonde. This one is tiny because it's nearly run out. Um, I have got a new one ready and waiting in my drawer but I'm going to use this until it completely runs out because why not? Don't want to waste it. Um, and yeah, I just put it through my eyebrows. Not too much. Um, they're pretty much in shape so I just kind of go through them like where they are and make sure the arch is all good up here this is the one that's a bit more of a nightmare um, oh my god it get my eyebrows showing up really dark on camera as well oh dear this one is a bit harder because it is not so great naturally always have to sort out the arch on this one because it's like not there thanks to doing epilation at college there we go and then I just brush through them to blend it out a little bit and yeah normally I would put powder in after this well I used to should I say um, but I don't know I just feel like it looks a bit more natural and not quite so dark when I don't have the powder in um, so I just do that like when I'm going on a night out just to make them a bit more defined like especially on the arch like here because it's pretty annoying but yeah and then got my Maybelline brow drama like gel this is in transparent I used to have the one in dark blonde um, but they didn't have it so I just got the clear one and well pretty much does the same thing <laughs> I don't really use it for the colour just to keep them in place so yeah just brush that through to keep them where they are might just put a bit more pencil here there we go it's better there we go eyebrows done now I've been doing liquid eyeliner again recently and I've got a lot better at it and guaranteed now I'm filming it it's gonna go wrong but cross my fingers it's going to go good for the video because otherwise I'll like ruin the video. But yeah, I've been doing um, liquid eyeliner so let's go. I'm going to pull some delicious faces doing this probably. I just do a thin line on both eyes like from the middle to the outside first. And then kind of up to like the end of the eyeshadow here I do a line and then join it to the middle and obviously fill it in I can never do it like completely perfect ever so that's not going to be perfect um, but, yeah. It's not gone too bad. Not perfect, as I said, but it's okay. Okay, they're pretty even, and sometimes they go like thicker or thinner than others because 
basically they just kind of go how they want. <laughs> um, but as long as they're even and not like ridiculously big, I don't mind. And as you can see like here, probably, I don't know if it's coming up on the camera, like it's gone a bit cray, but you know sometimes if you try and make it better, it just gets worse and you end up with like complete panda eyes, so I don't care if it's not like completely perfect. Um, whatever. I'd rather that than ruin it. Um, and then obviously mascara. Again, if you've watched me for a long time, you'll know this is my holy grail mascara and it's the Maybelline Rocket Volume. Um, my two absolute holy grail makeup items are this mascara and Estee Lauder Double Wear. I couldn't cope without them. And this is a brand new one, so it's nice and wet. <laughs> um, yeah, so it didn't take too long to build up. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Don't you love it when you do that and then you've like ruined your whole makeup? Yeah, I really love it. It's like my favourite thing. <laughs> Ever. So it doesn't look quite as um, good as it did before, but I think it looks okay. My contour just does not look the same. That is stressing me out. There we go, that's better, right? <sighs> Back to the mascara. I might do this makeup on my birthday, like just add some full slashes maybe. It's my birthday in like a week and yeah, I think I might do this. And the last stage is of course my lips and the easiest way I find to do this is to first take a cotton bud and wipe off whatever's on my lips because though they look like clear they have got like a tiny bit of foundation and stuff always gets on there um, and I just find it easier to like line my lips like in the actual shape of my lips if I do that so I don't know I'm just gonna do it and yeah if you find it hard maybe it will be easier for you as well so now they're completely clear it's a lot easier to see like my actual um, shape of my lips so they're going to be like 10 times easier to line. I'm using this lip liner, it's in the nude from Essence. I absolutely adore Essence lip liners, they're a pound each, I think I have every shade um, and I absolutely love them, they're my favourite lip liners by far. So yeah, I'm just going to line my lips with this. I'm not going to fill them in just because this um, lip liner doesn't perfectly match the lipstick um, so it will blend like I won't have a line around the edge but I just prefer to have the actual colour of this like in the, I don't know, whatever, I don't fill in my lip. This is the MAC lipstick in the shade Brave. Um, I got it recently in the airport when I went to Spain and I absolutely love it. That is the makeup finished. I hope you like it. I have been wearing this all the time, like even when I've been going to work just without the lipstick because I don't know, I've just been enjoying it. So even though it's kind of a bit OTT for work, I just have been enjoying this though. So I don't care. <laughs> um, I just don't wear the lipstick, I just wear like lip balm. So yeah, I hope you like it. Um, and yeah, I hope you liked it. It was a chatty video, even though it's probably extremely long. Um, I just wanted to have a chat and also like explain what I'm doing more because sometimes I don't I just kind of do it um and you kind of take it for how it is so I thought it would probably be more helpful if I actually explain what I'm doing so if you don't like really long videos then yeah sorry um but you can like speed it up or something um and not listen to what I'm saying if you wish. I thought I'd zoom out to do the ending because I personally find it actually easier to look at things from like further away to get like the whole thing um, than looking so close up if that makes sense 
So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe. And I'm also gonna have like my Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, all my stuff um, down there um, so that you can like follow me on there, which will be cool. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.